of an English king of many long years ago. He ruled his land with an iron hand, though his morals were weak and low. His only outer garment was a dirty yellow shirt, with which he tried to hide his hide, but he couldn't hide the dirt. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, but he had his women by twos and threes. God bless the bastard king of England. Now the queen of Spain was an amorous Jane, a lascivious wench was she. She longed to play in her loving way with the king across the sea. So she sent a royal message with a royal messenger to invite the king of England down to spend the night with her. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, and he had his women by twos and threes. God bless the bastard king of England. Well, when Philip of France, he heard it by chance, he declared before his court, the queen prefers my rival just because I'm somewhat short. So he sent the count of Zippity Zap to give to the queen a dose of clap to pass it on to the bastard king of England. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, but he had his women by twos and threes. God bless the bastard king of England. When the king of England heard the news, he cursed the Gallic farce. He up and swore by the royal whore he'd have the Frenchman's arse. He offered half the royal purse and a piece of Queen Hortense to any British subject who'd undo the King of France. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, but he had his women by twos and threes. God bless the bastard King of England. So the Earl of Sussex jumped on his horse and straightway rode to France where he made a pass and he stripped the sash from Philip's pajama pants. And in front of the throng he slipped on a thong, leaped on his horse and galloped along, dragging the Frenchman back to Merry England. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, but he had his women by twos and threes. God bless the bastard king of England. When the king of England he saw the sight, he fell in a faint on the floor. For during the ride his rival's hide was stretched a yard or more. And all the maids of England came down to London town and shouted around the battlements to hell with a British crown. So Philip of France usurped the throne, the scepter was the royal bone with which he bitched the bastard king of England. He was dirty and lousy and full of fleas, but he had his women by twos and threes. God.